Na Foundational Education Coordinator Lester Tawana, at a briefing following the signing of an agreement, informed the disgruntled workers that the increase will be backdated to the 1st of July last year. This is to be paid on the 20th of this month. The deal also includes the removal of a $50 weekly performance in Center for Workers and opted for a $200 monthly basic increase for employees. A monthly meat allowance worth $170 for each employee has also been abolished and replaced with a salary notch of the same value for all workers, he added. The employees <coughs> from now onwards will receive a basic salary of $770, uh, whereby the $400 was a money which has increased for this year. But the 200, which they used to get as an incentive, and also the 170 will be incorporated into their basic salary, which will translate into 770 going forward. The 13th check and housing allowance increase will come into effect. Tawana explained that both parties have agreed to co-design a performance incentive on indicators yet to be agreed upon. Hartley as the employer is also happy and glad uh, to announce that the legal strike at Hartleaf has come to an end after nine days of peaceful striking. We are looking forward with the entire workforce to resume normal operations on Monday, 10 of January. And I can concur, concur with what Mr. Tawana has just shared. Uh, we have signed a substantive agreement for the financial year of Hartleaf ending 30 June 2022. And the points that he has mentioned just now, we concur. Hartleaf has in the meantime agreed to contribute 11% to the employee's pension from 8%. Nafau has also pledged to withdraw all pending labor disputes against the company.